A courthouse in Florence, the setting for this latest chapter in the long search for justice for Meredith Kircher. Well-liked and clever, she was only 21 when her promising life was ended in an act of appalling violence. Prosecutors said Amanda Knox and her boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, had forced Meredith into a sex game that ended in murder. They were convicted, but later acquitted on appeal. That verdict, though, was overturned by a higher court, so the appeal had to be run again. I was stunned by her death. She was At home in the US, like Knox has been protesting her innocence. She couldn't be forced to attend the hearings in Italy, but watching from afar, she says she's afraid. For now, in America, Amanda Knox is beyond the reach of this court and Italian justice. But she knows that if her guilt is confirmed, there could be an attempt to extradite her. Knox's former lover has defended himself in court. There is no real sense in thinking that I had an interest in committing such an atrocious act on a 20-year-old girl. This has no foundation in reality. The court studied fresh DNA evidence. It was gathered from the alleged murder weapon, but the significance of all the DNA traces on it are bitterly disputed. Now, though, the judges are about to decide, once again, what they think happened in this house, the scene of the murder more than six years ago. Alan Johnston, BBC News, in Florence.